Welcome to Natural Skincare School. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sterilize your cosmetic formulation, you know, beakers and bottles, and everything you want to use to formulate your product. The first thing you want to do is to get yourself a good nitride uh, glove. Okay, make sure it's a disposable one. So get one for yourself. Wear it. That's the first step. Then the next thing you you need is that you will need several. Um, product to use the number one sterilizer sanitize sanitizing you know product you will use is Steramine. Steramine tablet is very good for sanitizing um, surfaces and you know beakers and everything you want to use to formulate so I'll be using Steramine tablet then you will need distilled water so any distilled water any brand you have it's okay uh, this is an upgrade to a previous video I did um, the other video I did, I didn't talk, so I just want to talk in this one to uh, make you understand better. Also, you will need sanitizing uh, buckets. I have one here that I got from Amazing. I have a link in the description box below for where you can get it. This is the six quart one, so it's a bigger size. So you should really use that if you're going to be sanitizing a lot, a lot of bottles. So get yourself a sanitizing solution bucket. It's very important because Teramine is a, a bit of a strong chemical that can eat away just regular, um, regular plastic. So do not use regular plastic when you're using Teramine tablet. Then you will need a, a soap solution. This you can use any um, any because you have a, anything you have at home. But I prefer to have this because what I sell, uh, what I'm making, I sell to customer and I make customers products. So have this one. Then uh, what you should do also is you can have smaller sanitizing, you know, buckets also. So I have a link in the description box below for where you can get any of this. So the first thing you want to do is to crush a uh, steramine. Uh, tablet so just take one and crush it uh, why do you have to crush it? it take time for the steramine solution to dissolve in water so when you crush it you make it faster that's what I do so take one and crush it So once it's crushed, it will dissolve faster in water. So take the ceramides tablets, crushed one, put it inside the sanitizing bucket, solution bucket. So we're going to, don't allow it to get into your nose because it can, it has some choking smell. So take it far away from your nose or you wear nose mask when you're doing this. So that inside the sanitizing solution bucket then you pour distilled water on it i'm um, right now for one bucket for one tablet of the steramine i'm using half okay two liters of water As a matter of fact, I'm almost done with that. So depending on what you are doing, you can go as much as three liters of water. Okay. And that's, that's good. You're going to give it some time to dissolve. Okay. Give it some time to dissolve. So uh, as, as for washing your bottle or your beakers, you can use regular um, liquid castile soap. That's fine. Do not use uh, strong soap. You don't want that at this stage. So you pour the rest of your distilled water in the soap solution bucket. Then pour some liquid castile soap. You want it to be as gentle as possible. You can also use down if you have down, the one you buy at the store. You can also make sure you have a, a strong paper towel around when you are doing this. So put your your glass. Bit. Don't use this to wash uh, plastic. Okay, do not. That's why it's uh, apart from pet plastics, which uh, we don't use a lot. We only use pet plastic to package uh, oil or product that doesn't have uh, 
active okay so you put your bottle in the or the beaker that you're going to be using you put everything in there okay and you wash each one by one okay just watch lightly and now before I move on you go after washing you're going to clean it rinse it with water okay so you're going to need quite a lot of this so uh, we're going to need quite a lot of this uh, sanitizing beakers and so on and so forth so keep that in mind when you are sanitizing your your bucket so basically you're going to rinse it like I'm doing now okay after that now you're going to wash it so this is the first part then you rinse it that's the second part so after rinsing it you put it you're going to check your solution here to make sure it's ready if it's not ready you want to mix it a little bit to dissolve the leftover steramine solution if it doesn't dissolve you have to wait a little bit for it to dissolve because you don't want it to stick to your beaker or not so you Another thing you can do is that you can use a spatula to to mix the leftover so as to have a uniform mixture. Once that is done, now you either need a timer or you count for yourself because you don't want your beaker to stay too long in this ceramide solution. So you just put it in. Make sure you have a gloves on because it's going. I put it in after one minute so whether you have a timer you can time it yourself after one minute you take it out and you can put it on the rack okay after one minute take it out then you can put it on the rack or any anywhere you anything you have to to let your beaker or your container or your uh, glass bottle dry. I'm going to give you an idea. Um, there is a tree rack that I do use. Okay. This is it right here. I'm going to take this away. So after one minute, you take this out. I'm just clean this a little bit. This is a tree rack I got here in Toronto. I, I, I'm going to have a link in the description box from where I get it. So you can easily put your beaker there. As you see, okay, this tree rack is a lifesaver, especially when you have beakers, uh, big bottles. Okay, you can put it there to dry. Uh, basically, what you do is you're going to let it air dry. Do not try to dry it yourself with. Uh, don't 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 try any of them let it dry naturally okay so just let it dry as you see you can do it this way so you can come to the bottom here okay i think it's called tree rack i have a link in the description box below for i hope i can still remember the name but i will try and find it i put a link in the description box below or oh, i think it's on amazon also so i will look for that so that's how you do that okay i will move this aside so let's move on for your glass bottles okay make sure you throw out any leftover water from the cleaning then you put it in the cleaning and the cleaning so water i'm using the still water here also okay make sure you have enough water here i don't have enough so i'm going to uh to show to you a little bit i'm going to pour a little bit more distilled water on this one mm. 
So basically, uh, that's how you do it. So take it out. Put inside the steramine solution. And just make sure it only stays there for it only stay there for 60 seconds, one minute, not more than that. I make sure it's uh, the bottle. Yes, one tip. Make sure the bottle goes inside. The steramine solution must be able to get inside the bottle. Okay. So one for one tablet, you can use four liter of water. I think the instruction is in the. Exactly, so the instruction is on the steramine tablet. It said you can use one or two tablet per gallon of water. That's good. Uh, one or two tablet per gallon of water, but basically I use it. I use one tablet well, with four liter, and four liter is, I think, one gallon, if I'm right. Four liter is one gallon, so one tablet per gallon of water. So you take it out and you let it here dry naturally okay i put this on my on the tree i told you about if it's too small for the tree right let me just show you quickly if it's too small for the tree look at the tree that i show you about if your bottle is too small for the tree right you can you can put it on the rack okay that's that's something else you can do so you don't want to lose your precious bottle and you can use the same thing, the same thing apply for all your, all your spatulas, okay, all your scrapers, okay, make sure you wash them first in the water solution, then you rinse them very well. That's why the best, uh, the best soap to use is the gentle liquid castile soap, all right? Then you put them inside your steramine solution. Count one minute and take it out. Then let it air dry naturally. Okay. Another thing I do if I don't have a rack or anything is I put a uh, clean paper towel inside another any other container, right? And you can put them head down. As long as it's head down, that's perfect. Okay, just give it time to dry naturally. You can, that's another way to, if you don't have the tree. Okay. And your beaker and your spatulas, don't forget one minute. One minute and you are good to go. Take it out. Now, keep in mind, after this, don't, do you not use anything to dry. Let it get dry naturally. Okay, just like I did here. Let it air dry naturally. Also, uh, if you want to find the best place to buy your cosmetic ingredient at uh, wholesale price, okay, any size starting from I think one kilogram at wholesale price, head over to pureblendnatural.com. You'll see a lot, a lot of cosmetic ingredient there. Uh, you don't have to bother buying your cosmetic ingredient. How amazing is a waste of your precious money. So head over to pureblendnatural.com to get it at uh, wholesale price. Thanks for watching everyone. I wish you happy formulation.